Welcome to the California Country Club in Whittier, home of the Hawthorne Parks and Recreation Foundation's 21st Annual Golf Tournament. I'm Mary Sam Sanchez. And I'm Mamdou Salih. We started off with some rain this morning, but thankfully the skies have cleared up just in time for all the festivities. There are 17 teams here today, all competing to raise funds for the foundation. Plus, there are tons of great prizes and awards to be handed out. And Mom, do I think it goes without saying that pride is always on the line when it comes to a competition like this one. The tournament has become a yearly tradition for many golfers who eagerly start the day off with their eyes on the title. We have wonderful teammates and so we are definitely trying to bring the home, the uh, trophy home for this year's lumber team. For two straight years, the annual showdown has taken place in the heart of Whittier, California, where a sprawling par 72 course provides the ideal setting for any golf enthusiast. California Country Club was established in 1956 and it's always been private. It's a private club, but it's one of the few affordable private clubs in the area. We only play this if, you know, if, if I was on my own. So I love it, it's, the greens are nice, and it dried out, so it's beautiful, I like it. As a haven for luscious blooms and small wildlife, the grounds boast 6,814 yards of natural terrain and tree-lined fairways. We overseed every year and it's a ryegrass, so we have a balance of ryegrass and Bermuda in our fairways. Our, our greens are uh, traditional greens, which are bent and poana mix, uh, but are always in great shape and put very well. The immaculately manicured course offers a challenge to both the experienced and up-and-coming golfer. This is a straight-on grip-and-rip golf course and uh, like I said you could you could better bring your A game but if not you probably use the same ball all the way around and have a fun time anyways. I've been lucky enough to golf here a couple times before uh, so today I'm gonna say I'm having a better game. I haven't lost any golf balls today so with that, that's a really good day. Well, the first four holes have been played, so let's take a quick look at the leaderboard to see how things have panned out. It's really early in the tournament, so there's probably going to be a lot more movement in the standings. In the meantime, let's check in with Mamdu for a closer look at what this day is really all about. Thanks a lot, Mary Sam. This tournament is a favorite to local players for many reasons. There's the food, the games, the excitement, the golfing. Most importantly, all the money that is raised goes to support a great cause. This year, the tradition continues. Home to the Hawthorne American Little League, this popular park is a place where parents and children can enjoy family activities and camaraderie. The need came about due to some uh, requirements from the health department for the snack bar, so they were, they were uh, in, in jeopardy of being closed for the coming year. This year's tournament earnings will help keep the park intact by funding renovations to the snack bar, bathroom area, and kitchen space. Well, you know, it takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of labor, it takes a lot of money to keep those programs going, those parks going. But despite the challenge to raise funds, participants remain optimistic. Well, being one that uh, plays a lot of softball and, uh, and plays at Jim Thorpe Park, I'm, I'm happy to see that the money's going, going there for uh, park improvement. It's, uh, it's really great. I just hope that we uh, have a great day. It looks like the weather's going to hold for us and that we do make uh, a reasonable amount of money to, uh, to take care of the, the, the activity at Jim Thorpe Park. A new and improved park certainly brings the community together. And together, the sponsors and volunteers have given their time and effort to make this tournament a reality. A lot of sponsors that we've had back from years past uh, that we really appreciate uh, that are here with us year after year. Being a, you know, a major corporation of the, of the community, it's, I think it's important that we uh, provide and uh, sponsor these type of events. The sponsors are taking care of business while enjoying themselves at the same time. The tournament people are nice, it's well organized, runs smoothly, and we have a great deal of fun. The volunteers also play a vital role in this tournament. 
The volunteers are just people that enjoy coming and supporting the Parks and Recreation Foundation. I enjoy volunteering my time knowing I'm doing something to give back to the community. And giving back is always worth the time. I like the results. I like the people I'm with. And uh, with those two, you can't go wrong. Together, the sponsors and volunteers continue to be the backbone that keeps the tournament running smoothly every single year. Before we check in with Mary Sam, let's take a look at the standings thus far. As the competition is heating up, let's go to Mary Sam for a closer look at the playing field. Thanks, Mamdu. There are 68 players participating in today's event, and while we've seen some new faces, there are many players who make it a point to come back year after year. I played last year, and uh, so what brought I, you back? Oh, just the just the uh, lure of, of playing, and and then also uh, contributing to the uh, foundation, uh, so that uh, you know the recreation foundation can can benefit the uh, kids. Although the tournament roster includes some new names, facilitators do recognize that participation has faltered due to tough economic times. I just hope that people have a lot of fun. Uh, we know that we don't have 144 people like we usually do. Uh, this is a good course and uh, it's tough times right now. There's a lot of people can't take off, you know, because their job is more important. But for those in attendance, it was time and money well spent. As far as the, how the eco economy is, and you know, obviously money's tight with everybody. So showing people coming out, showing, paying the fees, and you know, going for a good cause is a great, great event. People that are the participants, they're business people in the city, and they see the need, and they're willing to come out and spend the day with us and uh, to give of themselves. Aside from the opportunity to help a worthy cause, golfers also compete for bonus prizes at various holes. We're here at hole 5 where the hole in one gets a $500 Visa gift card. Let's check out how some of the players are doing. Well, it doesn't seem like anyone's going to walk away with a cash prize this year. But perhaps someone will get lucky with one of the bigger prizes. We're at hole number 10 where the hole-in-one challenge wins you a two-year lease on a brand new Ford Edge crossover. Now it's a feat that hasn't been completed in the tournament's 21-year history, but could today be the first? To win the elusive prize, one must find a way to conquer this par 3 hole, and that is no easy task. I think I think uh, visually it looks a little scary because it's an uh, elevated tee box and goes down over the water. Well, my wife told me to win the car, so the pressure was on. <laughs> so that's always the challenge to block out everything and, and, and just play golf. Yeah. I think right now we're at hole 17 and it's an uh, eight day, seven night stay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The wife doesn't know about that one. No, no, she doesn't know about that one. She would like that one too. Although no one managed to grab either of the big prizes, the golfers were simply grateful to be enjoying a beautiful day out on the greens. Just like at the Masters. <laughs> uh, you get out here in the uh, fresh air, the green grass, and uh, you forget about all your worries. You forget about uh, all the problems uh, having to do with your jobs. Uh, it's just such a breath of fresh air to get out and, and play. <laughs> I'm told that uh, every day playing golf and not at work is a good day. Yes, most definitely. <laughs> and for those who didn't fare too well on the course, there's always the distinguished honor of placing last in the tournament. See, what happened was I always used to come in last place. And I told Dick Miller, Dick Kuhn, I said, I'm not playing anymore unless you come up with a last place trophy. And they did that. And since then, I've been coming in second to last. So I can't win either way. Well, it's been a very competitive tournament this year. Absolutely. It seems like every single year of the competition just gets more and more intense. Yes, indeed. Will it be a new team that will be crowned or will an old team reclaim the honors? Well, we'll find out in just a little bit. So let's head on inside for the final leg of the festivities at the dinner banquet where we'll crown this year's tournament champs. During the banquet, sponsors were recognized for their support of the foundation. You didn't win the last place award this year, but you got a trophy for your uh, sponsorship. It, 
It's, that wasn't for lack of trying. Oh, is that right? <laughs> and a special award was given to a longtime supporter of the foundation. Presented in sincere appreciation for your volunteerism and leadership to the Hawthorne Parks and Recreation Foundation for these past 24 years. Richard Miller, charter member and past president. Thank you. Bonus prizes were also given to those who met course challenges throughout the day. And an array of donated prizes were raffled off, adding to the funds already raised. This organization has contributed over $500,000 to enhance the programs and improve facilities in Hawthorne in the last 21 years. The day-long festivities were capped off with the announcement of the top teams. Coming in third place with a round of 67 was the Bear Elegance team. The Miller-Diaz group came in second at 63. And for the second straight year, Dick Miller's team took the top spot at 11 under par. And this year's last place honors goes to the most honest golfers. And uh, the highest was 7B, Hawthorne par uh, the Hawthorne Police Department. Are they here? Win or lose, overall the tournament was a huge success.